A fish that can reach up to 36 feet in length, swims upright as if it's practicing ballet, and supposedly has the power to predict earthquakes? This isn't a legend. Meet the oarfish, a creature that has left both fishermen and scientists in awe, and sometimes even a little freaked out. In this video, you'll discover everything there is to know about the oarfish, from its supermodel-like look with red fins that look like vibrant highlights, to its unique swimming style and mysterious appearances that make people wonder, is this a fish or is it a dragon? We'll also get into why it's considered the messenger of natural disasters and why its reproduction habits have left scientists scratching their heads. Don't miss a single moment, because the more you watch, the more fascinating secrets you'll uncover about this bizarre fish. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any part of our journey into the ocean's mysteries. Now, let's dive in. Honestly, living at the bottom of the ocean and not having to worry about paying electric bills since no light ever makes it down there? That definitely takes some pressure off. But because it is pitch dark, the creatures down here have to be one-of-a-kind marvels just to survive. And that's how we ended up with a fish that, the moment you see it, makes you go, whoa, is that a dragon? Let me introduce you to the oarfish, also known as the ribbon fish. Saying it's straight out of a legend wouldn't be wrong, because this fish looks so strange that many people believe it might actually be the descendant of an ancient sea dragon from the days of old European kings. If you think it's straight out of a legend, you wouldn't be wrong. This fish's bizarre appearance has led people to think it's the descendant of ancient sea dragons from European royalty's time. But here's the thing. Our long friend here doesn't do small. This fish can reach an incredible 36 feet long, or about 11 meters. That's even longer than some epic romance movies. But here's the twist. Despite its impressive length, it's only about 12 inches wide, which is 30 centimeters. Yes, it's long and slim, like that one tall, skinny kid in school who can only fit into an extra small. Its tail, it looks like wet hair that's been left to dry naturally, frizzy, scraggly, and a bit crunchy. But hey, when you live in an underwater current that's constantly dragging you around, that tail's just gotta take one for the team. Think the oarfish's sheer length is enough of a shock factor? Think again. This creature also sports a dramatic red dorsal fin that stretches from head to tail. At first glance, it looks like it's strutting the runway with a bold red mohawk, leaving other fish looking on, thinking, how can we even compete? Most of the time, it floats along without a care in the world, giving off that vibe of, sorry ocean, but you're feeling a bit cramped for me. Its giant eyes give it a constant look of, I'm watching, but I'm trying not to care too much. And that tiny mouth, it's like a little diet enthusiast's snack-sized portion, just big enough to get by. Deep sea life doesn't come with feasts or parties, so eating little is just part of the package. Even sharks wanting to mess with it are at a loss, because the oarfish glides by, silent and stealthy, like it's mastered level max invisibility. Then there's its skin. Forget tough scales, this fish has soft skin, as smooth as a plush toy washed in premium fabric softener. This sleek, shimmering look isn't just stylish, it's thanks to guanine, which makes its skin shine like silver bling. Each time the rare light of the ocean touches it, it sparkles like it's headed to a deep sea gala. In the depths, the oarfish has all the mystique of a perfect child. Graceful, mysterious, commanding respect without having to flaunt strength. Sharks probably pass by with a mumble of, hey, not worth the effort. The oarfish lives in the ocean's mid to deep zones, where light can't compete with the crushing pressure that's like your boss waiting for that big report. So, the oarfish has developed survival skills that could rival Hollywood action heroes. Those huge eyes aren't just for show. They capture even the faintest glimmers of light from above. Down there, any light is like finding a rare treasure. That moment of, oh wow, a ray of hope. But surviving in a place where food is scarcer than a gamer's girlfriend? That's no small feat. The oarfish is somehow thriving on the tiniest of resources, leaving scientists scratching their heads like, how does it even get by? Nobody knows exactly where it draws energy from, but this fish just glides along as if it's on a scenic walk through the ocean. Oh, and don't think it enjoys heading up to the surface for a change of scenery. 
This fish is as private as someone binging on Netflix alone at home. But every now and then, powerful currents pull it up from the depths, as if fate's saying, come on out, let everyone take a look. Or if it's injured, it might let itself be dragged to shore. Like it's saying, I'm exhausted anyway, let life take me where it will. One big advantage of the oarfish is its unique swimming style. While most fish swim horizontally, this one glides upright like a ballerina in the deep sea. Each movement sends its long red dorsal fin waving, just like a model's slow motion strut on the runway. And believe it or not, this is its pretend to be seaweed move, allowing it to blend right in. Other fish might swim by thinking, hold on, is that seaweed? Better to be safe than sorry. Thinking of keeping one in your tank? Well, that's brave, but I wouldn't recommend it. This fish has all the curiosity of a kid in a candy store, willing to explore every corner and rearrange every rock in its path. You'd better glue every stone down tight if you don't want to wake up to a scene straight out of a tornado's aftermath. The oarfish is also famous for its jailbreak talent. Leave the tank lid open and one morning you might find it missing. Where did my fish go? After a frantic search, you might find it lounging under the couch, casually, as if saying, hey, it's your fault for leaving the lid open. I just wanted to explore a bit. So a tip for anyone daring enough to keep an oarfish, lock that tank up tight and don't look away. Or you might be left staring at an empty tank wondering, did I just get Houdini'd by a fish? Since ancient times, tales of sea dragons and ocean monsters have kept villagers clutching flashlights at bedtime. But often those monsters weren't dragons or colossal beasts, they were the oarfish. Fishermen who saw one washed ashore would practically faint, thinking, we've met a creature straight out of a sci-fi movie. In Japan, the oarfish is hailed as a messenger from the sea god's palace. But don't expect it to bring good news. Each time one shows up, people brace themselves for what they believe is an omen, thinking, oh no, are we in for an earthquake or tsunami? Before the 2011 earthquake, it's rumored that several oarfish popped up near the shore, making everyone go, brace yourselves, something's about to happen. Even in Europe, the oarfish can't escape its harbinger of doom reputation. European fishermen spot one at sea and immediately think they're up against some legendary sea monster from Norse myths. They're left wondering, wait, is this an oarfish or the kraken? With its long, flowing body and waving fins, it does look like it stepped straight out of a mythological tale's final boss fight. Today, scientists are debunking myths around it, but they can't help but notice how the oarfish seems oddly sensitive to seismic activity. Living at the bottom of the ocean, where water pressure is as heavy as a Monday morning, it might sense slight tremors in the Earth's crust before humans do. So before or after an earthquake, it sometimes pops up near the surface as if to say, hey, something's up. Despite its massive length, the oarfish lives by a simple motto, peaceful, quiet, no drama. Don't let its size fool you into thinking it's some ferocious predator. Quite the opposite. It's a chill fish, snacking on plankton, shrimp, and jellyfish. You can tell right away it's the well-behaved kid of the ocean, uninterested in any hunting drama, and its mouth, nothing fierce there. It doesn't even have sharp teeth. But it's got a VIP trick, opening wide to gulp in surrounding water and tiny creatures, much like a friend slurping up boba. This quick technique lets it eat fast while saving energy, perfect for deep sea survival. The oarfish isn't content to stay at the bottom all day. At night, it heads up, ready for its midnight snack, a process known as vertical migration. It's like going up to the rooftop for a Saturday night party. And when it comes to reproduction, prepare to be surprised. All oarfish start as handsome guys, but after a while, some of them switch and become ladies to keep the family line going. This natural change is called sequential hermaphroditism, a fancy way of ensuring nobody's left single. Only a few fish species have this trick. They start as male lead in undersea romance, producing offspring as males. But as they age, if there's a shortage of ladies, they'll switch roles. But here's the kicker. Oarfish larvae look nothing like their parents. At birth, they're practically shining with bright colors and translucent fins, looking completely different from the adults. 
They use the light near the ocean's surface to blend in. Like, hey, I'm so bright you can't even see me. Nobody knows where young oarfish hide out. They're like mini ninjas, leaving zero traces during growth. Studying them is like finding a needle in a haystack. As for threats, thankfully, this super long guy isn't on anyone's dinner list, mainly because nobody wants to dive deep enough to catch it. But what could harm it are climate change and pollution. With rising ocean temperatures and changing habitats, even deep sea giants will feel the pinch. The most impressive thing, its body is brilliantly designed. All its vital organs are close to the head, so even if its tail suffers wear and tear, it keeps gliding like it's saying, no big deal, I'm still good. The oarfish's survival skills are on another level. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next dive into ocean mysteries. See you in the next video.